Morning campers! Happy Halloween! I'm fully aware that it is Saturday and it is out of my usual upload schedule to upload on a Saturday. However, I decided that I was going to treat you to a little as live just because it's Halloween and 2020 has been a pretty crap year and I decided let's cheer a few people up and do a little as live and uh, have a go at doing some halloween -y makeup. So, let's get started! The premise for this video is nice and simple. Um, basically what I'm going to do is use a random colour generator in order to pick various shades of makeup and then try and do something Halloween-y with it on my face. Like this is the most technically advanced thing I've ever attempted with makeup and bear in mind that I only started using eyeshadow about six months ago, if even that. So um, it's either going to be a very good or very bad. <laughs> And well, I have no idea how it's going to turn out like at all, and I have absolutely no control. But I'll show you the app that I've got. It's literally just like I typed in random colour generator into Google, and this is the site that came up. And when it loads, basically, you get a screeny thing that looks like this, and then you just sort of refresh it, and it changes colour. See? So I think this was a craze like on YouTube not long ago. I have no idea. But yeah, okay. I think this was like a craze on YouTube a little while ago. So it's not a new thing. I didn't come up with this idea. But I thought it might be interesting to try and do like a Halloween-y kind of makeup in it rather than an everyday one. So uh, I'm going to give it a go and see where I end up. Right, just need to stick my hair back so it doesn't like get everywhere. Oh. Well, I'm not bothered about the fact my hair probably shan't be very neat at all. <laughs> there we go. Right, that's back and more or less out of the way. See, I've got a lot of baby hairs that have come through here and they're kind of in the way, but I'll deal with them when I get to it. So first of all, the steps as normal because I kind of like only really have like one priming spray and one colour of foundation, so I can't really do anything about that. Right, so this is the uh, iHeart Revolution Tasty Peach Priming Spray, so I'm just going to spritz that on my face as I could primer. Take these glasses off. Sometimes I forget how much like a jet that comes out. Oh, <laughs> some of that went in my mouth. It does not taste like peach. Do not get this in your mouth. Oh my god, it's dripping down my nose as well. I think I put a little bit too much on that time. Right. Um, foundation, which is uh, lurking in this box of makeup. Like there's like tons of makeup in here. Like if I tip it any more, stuff's gonna start to roll out. That's how much makeup is in here. Um, yeah. Right. Where is my foundation? There it is. I'm dealing with my concealer. So that's a good start, isn't it, really? Right. For my foundation, I'm gonna plunk it on with a brush. I'm kind of converted since I did one of my last YouTube videos to like use a brush. And that is literally dripping on the end of my nose. I have like a huge massive drip primer on my nose. That's uh, not a good look. <laughs> right then. Let's. This is the Avon True Colour Flawless Liquid Foundation in the shade like pink. I think as I said before in quite a few videos, Avon don't make this shade anymore, but what they have replaced it with is crap, it doesn't work for my skin tone. So I'm quite glad I bulk bought this and this is like one of my last bottles. So I shall use it while I still have it. Oh. There we go. Right, let's dig that bit off the end. It's like a all hard and icky. Don't really want that on my face. Just wipe it on me knee casually. 
this might actually put a bit of colour on my face because I've been looking quite pale recently. Right. It would have helped me if I'd like actually put the foundation like in the right place on the brush, wouldn't it? I think I might have got it done a little bit easier. Right, let's have another dot of that. I haven't got quite enough. And I need to do the top part of my head, the forehead. I find it a lot easier with this brush just to like spread it over my face first and then give it a minute for the rest of the primer to just like evaporate off or soak into my skin and then go through and like actually buff it and blend it properly. Oh. Get rid of all of these bloody hairs everywhere. My hair gets everywhere. When I get mean everywhere, it doesn't just like sh shed everywhere. You said shred then, that's like the wrong kind of word. Although it doesn't shred everywhere, that would be quite bad. But yeah, it like sheds everywhere. And at the same time, I suppose it's because I'm a party and my hair is my confetti because you've always had confetti at a party. Although hopefully uh, it's a uh, responsible confetti. Yes, we hope anyway. Right, that looks like it's more or less blended in properly. Always a bit on the end of the nose, isn't it? That never blends properly. Now then, again with the concealer, I've only got one of these, and this is the. Uh, Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C3, so I'm just going to bung that on my face. This is like the boring bit of the makeup, I'm afraid, because I only have like limited base kind of things, so you just have to bear with it. The exciting bit will happen soon. Well, I hope it's exciting. I hope I just like don't get like, you know, like browns and neutrals and things. I hope I get like some brightly coloured bits. That would be nice. And then just to tap that in, I have my beauty blender, which is like all nice and clean. And although I did manage to like catch it on like the radiator, and it's quite left a mark on it now. <laughs> Oops. My eye bags at the moment are absolutely horrendous. This is one of the things I hate about having pale skin is that my eye bags are just awful. Look at the state of them, like you can still see them even like I've put quite a bit of concealer on them. 
this is a bloody nightmare. So layer number two of concealer. So just like never ever seem to, to like cover up properly either with concealer sometimes. It's sort of like I've got quite a bit on. Oh well. <laughs> Her filler hasn't even out. No, I don't want that bit to go in my eye. Don't go in my eye. It looks a little bit better. See, this is the thing when you've got really dark under eye back and really, really pale skin. It's a case of trying to do concealer so that it doesn't look horrendously overly cakey while still kind of like looking good. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it feels like I have to put like a whole load on that I don't really want to be putting on and then at the end of the day it looks really cakey because I've got like three or four layers of concealer on. But I think I might just get away with two today. Yeah. That's better. See, that looks a little bit better. You can still kind of like see the shadows and stuff. I think it's made kind of worse because my eyes are quite deep set. So it kind of like casts the shadow down as well. So I think that's another reason that my eye bags look incredibly dark, but that does look a bit better. Puffy eyes are not a good idea. Not a good look, puffy eyes. Right, now, uh, this is base makeup done, so yeah, um, let's get into the fun bit. Right, random colour generator at Zoreli. What colour have we got? Oh! Green. Oh! Blue. It's a nice light kind of sky blue. Right, um, that's going to have to be an eyeshadow because I haven't really got a blue powder. I will try and get as close to that colour as I can. So I don't really think I have anything that's like massively bright, bright blue like that. Kind of want purple actually. Ooh. Purple. Well, um, this will have to be an eyeshadow because I don't, I literally don't own like a, a setting powder that's purple. But yeah, um, I will try and get as close to this colour purple as I can. Because I, mean, I might not actually have anything that's like this shade of purple, but I'll do what I can and see. Uh, eyeshadow palette. I think I have to use the Galaxy one. Ooh. I've got a purple in here, haven't I? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Oh, I have two purples. Um, which one looks the most similar, do we think? So I can have Out of Space or Cosmic Crush, and I think I'm going to go for Cosmic Crush. Right, um, what colour to use to stick this on my face? I think I'm going to use like a flat foundation brush just to like tap this on my face and this is going to go really, really strange. Thank God it's like Halloween. This is going to be a, bit, a little bit weird. so odd. <laughs> Already it kind of like looks a bit strange. It's not going on very evenly but I suppose I'll try and like tap it out with the, the beauty blender afterwards. So the problem now is I've got to now think of like what kind of makeup I could do with like a purple base because I'm not overly sure, like genuinely not overly sure what I can do with a purple base and obviously it depends on like other colours. So I could go for like a night sky kind of thing but that obviously depends on me getting stuff like silvers and yellows. As you can bet the next kind of colour I'll get will be something like black and I'll be like damn it what am I supposed to do with that because I've got like contour and highlight and stuff to do. 
Oh, you can bet I'll be like, damn it. <laughs> I know you might did not need like that kind of colour. But this this is going to be going on at the moment, but kind of alright. It feels very, very strange they're putting like a a purpley kind of or a shadow one. <laughs> I'm not really sure I like this. So yeah, very, very, very strange concept. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like the smoothest thing to apply either. Is that apply a little bit better? A little bit. It is like starting to blend out okay. No hair, get out of the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be a disaster. Oh, I forgot this palette smells like chocolate. I wish you just smells it and it's like, hmm, okay. It's the smell, oh yeah, it's the chocolate scented one, isn't it? Gosh, the powder from this is like going everywhere. <laughs> this is so strong. It's just really weird. Perhaps I should have used a different brush. Perhaps that might have been better. But I haven't really got one that's apart from an eyeshadow brush that's small enough to do this apart from this flat foundation brush. So I didn't really want to be here all day. And I might need new clean eyeshadow brushes for later. If we get like more and more random colours. Right, let's scrub this brush and see if I can like blend it all out now. blend. Oh my god my face just looks horrendous. I've got like a big stripe of it across my nose now that like won't blend in. I'm gonna have a stripe on me. It just makes my face look a bit grimy. You can't really see on the camera that it's like purple. But uh, there we go. This has also got like marbled effect on it, so that's probably going to make it look a little bit even more weird. I'm going to stab that in the end of the thingy. So like where I usually put powder is kind of like powdered. Just try and neaten it all. See it still looks quite patchy, especially across my chin. Second time I called that one. Look at that. <laughs> My face does look like very, very shimmery and shiny now. 
So it's very glowy this, but I kind of look a bit like an alien from Star Trek. This is how it's going to look, isn't it? I'm literally going to look like a bloody alien from Star Trek. Well, uh, I guess that will do. It look, definitely looks uh, very, very strange. <laughs> Okay, um, so I usually do contour next. Let's see what colour I get for contour and hope I've got something that's that colour. Ah, pink. It's like a magenta -y kind of pink. I think I might have a colour pink in this one. See, it could have been worse. I do like have a black eyeshadow in here. Ooh. Ooh. I see I've got a couple in here I could use. I could use Space Queen, I could use Interstellar, I could use Asterism. I think Interstellar, which is this one here, looks the most similar, doesn't it? So I'm going to use that one for my contour. My contour brush. Hopefully this is a bit easier to use for in terms of contouring than like Uh -huh. Even showing up on camera. Oh, look, it's showing up a bit more on camera. See, that doesn't look too bad with the purple. It could have been worse. Like, there are several colours in here which would have looked very weird, like so far, far away might have looked incredibly strange. Supernova would probably have been impossible because it's white. And then my contour is going to be a bit shite as well. But we'll deal with it. So that's that. Right, that's blended across the top of my head. And again, this one's like a shimmer rather than a matte, so. Just have like a distinct feeling I'm gonna look like a bloody Star Trek -y alien. But like I said, it's either gonna be incredibly good or incredibly bad. By the way, I've had fun doing this. <laughs> They're thinking, oh shit, what am I going to have next? Like there, okay. Hmm. Well, that kind of blended in a bit better than I was expecting it to. It kind of looks like I put like a load of blush on, but at least it's showing up on camera because the purpley thingy kind of like isn't right. Um. Highlighter. Yeah, I'll just shut my finger in that. Ah. Oh, look at that big dent. Oh, that hurts. I better not bleed because it's quite deep. Ouch. Right, uh, this will be my highlighter colour. Oh, green. I don't actually think I've got a green. No, I don't have a green on that one. I've got a green on this one. What do I do if I haven't got green? Oh, I have, I have kind of put it in there. There's not really a green on that one either. Um, I haven't got a green like lipstick thingy either. Well, 
shade black hole kind of has like a green iridescence to it. Should I just use that? I think I'll just use that. So you got this one's black hole. It's kind of got like a green iridescence and so is constellation. Right, which one's the greener of the two? Do you think? Now that I've taken them out of the thing, not one of them looks green. Like neither of them look green. Well, <laughs> black hole has green glitter in it. The cat's hair on there. Um, and I think I will probably do that. Or should I just do it again? I think I'll just do it again. Green again. I haven't got a green. Blue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> blue is okay. I'll have a blue. Right, let's grab a little brush. So the one I'm going to use for that is Solar Flare. It's not quite that bright kind of blue, but I haven't got a bright kind of blue. So this one will have to do. It is very blue on the brush. So, uh, this is going to be fun. See, it does kind of look a bit night sky -y now. Too bad. It could be a lot worse. Something I will say though is that this is like not a forgiving shade if you like mess it up. <laughs> it's like you can see I've kind of like messed it up a little bit on this side. I sort of smudged it. But, but okay. This one looks okay. This one looks a bit more spacey, kind of alien in now. It does also kind of tell you that I've got like one cheekbone bigger than the other. Let's try and even these out and make this one a wee bit messier. One of my cheekbones is like sharper in angle than the other. But there we are. Hopefully I'll be able to like blend this out a little bit more with a blush. Right, um where else do I stick highlighter up here? You need to remember that when I do my eyeshadow, I need to use this one as like a brow bone kind of thing. Right, let's just kind of like blend this out. See, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Cardassian makeup on Star Trek Deep Space Nine, because the Cardassian women have like a blue spot in the front of their head that they artificially colour blue. I think Garrick uses bluey kind of makeup as well. There's a bit of debate among Deep Space Nine fans as to whether it's actually like natural or whether it's makeup and it's no it's makeup according to the costume designers anyway. I mean natural for Cardassians obviously I know because it, it's like prosthetic makeup and stuff isn't it? It's a bit on here, damn it. Well, uh, that looks weird. I think it's looking a little bit more and more alien. But yeah, this side you can definitely tell my cheekbone is like higher than this side. I think I just sort of completely missed it on this side, but I guess it's, I can't see very well out of who cares. But yeah, it's like, especially on my cupid's bow, it looks a bit strange. I think I might like try and have a go at neatening them out a little bit and just sort of make it look a bit more intentional. Like it's kind of supposed to be much better. That's a bit better. It's a bit more attention on that. But it just look very, very alieny. <laughs> right. Um, 
so that's powder contour highlight right blush <laughs> this is a bit where we get like a really stupidly dark kind of blush isn't it and it's like damn it damn it got like a funny like yellowy goldy color you said that's yellow gold it's a bit more yellowy on camera um i don't think i've really got i've got yellow in this one but i have i've got one small step this uh but I think I don't think that's quite right, is it? No. Let's have a look and see what we've got in this one. No, I don't think they're quite right. Well, we'll have a go with one small step. See, I'm using them all for out of the space palette. I think that's probably why it's becoming more and more spacey. But uh, there we are. Right, that's picks them up. All sort of blending together on this cheek now. I'm looking a bit more like a bruise myself. <laughs> you can like hardly see this colour blush, but we'll still give it a go. <laughs> This one's like more like a highlightery kind of shade that a bit on the room. You can kind of like just about see it here, like the yellowy bits, but it, it's not horrendously bright. I didn't kind of expect it to be when it's on like a um, purple base. Right, let's have a look for the oh red. <laughs> the only thing I've got that's red is like a lip colour. This is like for um, eyebrows. So I'm actually going to have like red eyebrows. Excellent. Um, I think for this I'm probably going to use like my liquid lip, one of my liquid lipsticks. What colour should I use? Uh, which one's the brighter of the two is the question. I think I'm going to use this one. This one is the Revolution Hydro Matte Liquid Lipstick. There's my uh, brush. There we go, my eyebrow brush. <laughs> so I suppose it could be worse. I suppose it could be a lot worse. Not hitting the camera is a good sign too. Definitely going to look weird. See, this is like really dark. My eyebrows are really dark, so I have like almost black eyebrow. So it is going to look a little bit strange. It also smells like sweets, so it's definitely a, a really quite strange smell. Well, I suppose this is on point for Halloween because it looks a little bit like blood. And this isn't showing up very well on the camera either, but there we are. Well, it uh, certainly looks strange. You know, I'm kind of like tempted to bring them like, make them like even bigger so it looks intentional. I'll do the other one first and then like I'll see whether I kind of want to make them bigger or not and weirder so it looks like intentional. I probably will to be honest. I feel so wrong putting like a lip product in my eyebrow. <laughs> it also feels really cold and slimy in my eyebrows. So.
Well, that one looks definitely redder than that one. <laughs> I just like even them up a little bit now. It definitely looks very, very red, and obviously you can kind of see where, like, how bloody uneven they are. And now I just got kind of like made a mess of it, that's fine. <laughs> oh my god, this is like horrendous. But at least you can tell they're like proper proper red now. Right. Let's have a go at like evening this thing up. See that comes like right into an even. That looks a bit better. It's a lot bloody awful, but I think that's about the best that they're gonna get. My eyebrows aren't even in real life anyway, so I think that's about the best they're gonna get. They definitely look very space age <laughs> and very strange. Hopefully once like the look is kind of like finished it will look a bit more even ish. <laughs> Right, um, let's go for, yeah, eyes. Oh my god, this is like gonna be. No, I don't want that one. I want to refresh it, thanks. Let me refresh. Blue, again, blue again, blue again. Uh, okay, that's gonna be nice and easy then. That's going to be like blue in the crease. <laughs> I might need to be a bit careful not to like take it all the way up to my brow bed. The problem is that my brow brow bone is like ri literally like really <laughs> hmm. There we go, that second curve makes it look a bit better. Hmm. I'm not overly sure about like what to do with the end of it, whether should I just like block it out so it looks blocky and intentional, but then again I've got this here which looks strange perhaps I'll get another shade for like the outer corner and then like you know block it out with that and just use this one on my lid let's see if it's decisioned especially if I'm like having to wing it I don't do winging it very well Literally anybody who knows me that will tell you. I don't do winging it very well. I like to have things planned out. 
I'm saying the truth of makeup wipe, I can't do bloody wings with like with eyeliner to save me life, so I definitely can't wing that either. Right. Let's see what colour I get for like the outer corner. What should it be? Oh it's green. Greeny grey. I think the closest colour I've got to that is like black hole, so that's the one I'm going to use. This one I think I probably should be able to. See, in the pan it looks that kind of colour, but now I'm taking it out it looks more purple, but we'll just roll with it. We'll roll with it. This one might be like incredibly dark. Answer is yes, it's incredibly dark. Oh my god. I want to take it all the way out there. I'm not very artistic either, but I think because this one's dark, I can get away with like. Feeling it out a little bit about here. Oh wow. That doesn't look too bad. I can get that one like under my brow there as well. See that looks okay. Like the way it's been like winged out. See and I said I didn't do winging but <laughs> it looks slightly better. Right now to replicate this on the other side. You watch it go out so you pants up now. <sighs> right and then I sort of went down and then flipped it out to make sure that I'm using the front of the brush. This is like not going to be even in the slightest. I suppose I can even it up as I go along though, can't I? Doesn't look too bad. Right, and then make sure that I get it. Where are we? Black hole. Dip it in the wrong one then. I've been doing this makeup for too long. Or that, right, make sure I get that where to finish. Uh, there we go. It definitely looks better on like the left side. I'm trying to like get this like fully up in the brow bed. That's better. Just like definitely look better with it fully up in the brow bed. But as you can see, it's kind of blobby compared to this one. Okay, so I'm not overly sure whether I should get another colour to go on the underneath or whether I should just use that one. Well, I think we'll do the thing and then we'll see. I might just decide, sorry, decide let's go with that one. Well, this is like a bright green and I haven't got a bright green. A bright green kind of would look, would look good with this look, but... We'll give it another go. This one's like a yellowy, goldy kind of colour. That might work actually. There's not much yet kind of like yellowy tones on here. Um, let's use my other palette for it because this one's like all gold and neutrals. And I have like quite a few golds to choose from. I think it's kind of like a um, Kind of like a browny kind of gold, isn't it? So I think I'm going to go for this one. I have no idea what this shade's called because it's not like got a shade thing on it at all. But, uh, yes, I'm going to use that one. Get some of this blue off this thing so I can use it. That looks quite good.
and it's not really showing up very well, which is a shame. I might have to try a different gold in a minute and see if that shows up any better. I think it's just because of like the purple that I put on this eye originally. Wow, the, the powder is just like not showing up very well. Can you see it now? Yeah, it just doesn't really show up very well. I'm gonna pop a bit on my other eye and then more left. See if we can get to go with another gold as well instead or as well. I did take like quite a thick line, I kinda of thought it needs something to like break it up a little bit. So I thought we'll just use like the full width thickness of the thickness of the uh, brush. Blimey. <laughs> this look gets weirder and weirder. Oh my god, right, let's take a little bit of like the slightly more coppery tone gold and stick that on instead. Well, I think you can definitely see it now. If you couldn't before, you definitely can now. Blimey. You definitely can now. This is like becoming an art form. Well, that was a tad better. Right, I was going to put one on my crease, wasn't I? And like never ever got around to doing it. Right, okay, crease colour. <laughs> <laughs> like, not that I kind of like massively need it. Well, it wasn't even crease, was it in a corner? Oh, now I've got a black. Now I've got a black. Well, black makes it easy because that's like eyeliner, isn't it? And I have a few of those. Which one's going to be best to use for it, do we think? A gel liner or a. Oops, that one. That's brown. So I've like got to put like eyeliner in my inner corner and I like have no idea what to do with it. Right, how dry is this thing? Oh, not very. This is the one that went missing like ages ago and I found it like in the corner of like my suitcase, like underneath the suitcase liner thingy. And that was a strange thing. Why are you drawing on my eye? Why are you drawing on my eye? Hang on, I think I might actually have a black eyeshadow that might be a bit easier to, 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 to draw it with. Oh, I have, I have far, far away. I'll use that instead. <laughs> I think that's just going to be easier, isn't it, than trying to do it with. Well, to be honest, considering it's like black, it hasn't really done much. I think it's because I don't, didn't really pick much up on the brush. Ah, that went in my eye. Uh, it's like really dark on the brush but then it's actually like going on my eyes it's sort of like disappearing oh well well I can see it's made a little bit of a difference now oh my gosh look at that 
<laughs> oh god, my eyes are awful. Right. Okay, that will do for eyes. Right. Um. This I've already got like one type of mascara as well, so I'll just uh, bung that on. Like literally in one colour. I'm not going to bother with eyeliner because I've got enough on my eyes as it is already. It's, um, let's go over there. It is. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's good. My eyes just look so strange. <laughs> also, like, not used to wearing like this much makeup. It looks like panto makeup almost. Okay, let's like mascara on. <laughs> it doesn't help that like my lashes are caked in this sort of stuff as well. Right, um I need to make a blend of that maybe. Also highlight crease, lip, 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 lip. Lips, yeah. Uh, this is the last one now. Uh yeah, uh, lips. Um genuinely have like no idea what I'm gonna use on my lips. Uh <laughs> I think this will have to be like a nice shadowy kind of thing as well and hopefully it'll get like a decent-ish colour. Green again, this thing likes green. I haven't got anything green. Blue. Again with the blue. What is it with like, I have actually got a blue lipstick somewhere. I thought I have a blue lipstick somewhere. I do, I do, I do have a blue lipstick. Yes I do. It's a tiny little sample, but it is a blue lipstick. And bloody hell, I'm gonna look super, super, duper straight. Actually, it kind of goes with the rest of the look, so I'm not gonna complain that much. Well, um, <laughs> oh, it's bloody lovely this. Well, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it kind of like goes with the rest of the look. But what I did find while I was rummaging is like, where is it? I 
found when I was rummaging and I've now to like re rummage and find it was like this and I think this might have worked a bit better than like a setting powder or something whoops not knocking the camera over is a good start there we go so I think I might like go back over and like because you can't really see the purple powdery bits now and just like touch it up a bit Make it look a bit more alien-y. It still looks kind of pale. Oh look, that's better. I didn't know I didn't bloody well use this. I could have used this as like a foundation-y kind of thing. I don't even know what this is. This is the thing that I got in like the Revolution package thingy. A preview bag in one of my previous videos and I didn't know whether it was like an eyeshadow or like a or a lip thing well it's uh, now going on my face so Kind of better. This is like the colour purple I kind of assume the eyeshadow will come out. I genuinely was expecting it to come out like a bit more of this colour. See, look, immediately that's like better. That's a lot better. It's a lot more alien y now. <laughs> oh my god, that looks like. Aren't I glad it's Halloween? I can't believe she got this stepped up the set of Star Trek. You know, it's a shame my Andorian antenna haven't arrived. Yeah, that I bought in the uh, suspect auction because it these would be like weird and wonderful if not. <laughs> Pick out all of them. Well, see that was a bit better. It was really, really power on my lips though. It's a little bit more in keeping now. It still looks pretty awful, but <laughs> well. stuff on it it's like this it looks odd now I 
Oh well. Okay, so this is like the... Uh, well, campers, this is like the finished face look and it looks very, very odd. Um, <laughs> this isn't the way that I would like normally choose to do my makeup. I guess it's kind of like okay for Halloween. However, this shall not be staying on my face for very long. God, it just looks weird, weird, wonderful. And my makeup skills are crap, so it looks pretty awful in places. And why did I decide to put that extra purple thing on it? I don't even know. Uh, I think in this case, my t-shirt kind of sums it up. Like, nightmare on Elm Street, only I don't live on Elm Street. So, but you get the idea. Nightmare sums it up pretty well. <laughs> so that was my as live not much editing gone into this it's literally been on and gone basically as we say um yeah this is like my as live i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed the absolute complete mess i made of my face with this uh, randomizer thing <laughs> see you soon guys bye